Me and My Amazing Body by Joan Sweeney, illustrated by Annette Cable This is me and my amazing body. Eyes, mouth, nose, ears, elbow, fingers, stomach, hand, leg, foot, knee, toes. These are the parts of my body that I can see. But most of my body I can't see because my skin covers almost every inch of it. Skin comes in many different colours. It holds my body together and lets me feel things like my kitty's soft fur or the prickly spikes of my cactus. Ouch! Beneath my skin are my bones. All 206 of them. When my bones are put together, they're called a skeleton. My skeleton holds up my skin, just like tent poles hold up a tent. Bones are hard and help protect the softer insides of my body. Attached to my bones are my muscles. My body has more than 600. They stretch and shrink like rubber bands. Muscles do the hard work of moving my body all around, back and forth and up and down. I even use my muscles when I smile. My muscles move because my brain tells them to. My brain is the boss of my body and it lets me think my own special thoughts. It's so important that it has its own safe place in my head, inside a very hard bone called my skull. My brain sends and receives messages from all parts of my body. My body and my brain need lots of energy to work well. They get energy from my blood. Blood contains oxygen from the air and nourishment from the food that I eat. My blood travels all over my body through special tubes called veins and arteries. If I cut or scrape my skin and it bleeds, don't worry. My body is always making more blood. My blood can't move through my body all by itself. It needs my heart. A group of strong muscles in my chest to move it. My heart is like my own little engine. It pumps blood through my body all the time even when I'm sleeping. If I put my hand on my chest, I can feel my heart beating. I can also feel my lungs working when I breathe in deep. My lungs fill with fresh air like balloons and send the part of the air that I need, the oxygen, into my blood. Then my lungs push the used air back out. A moment later, I breathe in fresh air all over again. My body needs food along with air or else I wouldn't grow. When I get hungry, I eat and the food goes down into my stomach. After I eat, my stomach mashes the food into very tiny pieces. Then, my body takes what it needs for energy and growth and gets rid of whatever it doesn't need. Eat a lot of good stuff and eat a little bit of the other stuff.
Every part of my body works together to keep me going. Skin, nose, brain, eye, skull, ear, mouth, heart, stomach, vein, lung, bone, muscle, toe, whisker, tail, paw. And keep me growing. And someday I'll be all grown up. Isn't it amazing? And most amazing of all, every person in the world has a body that's very much the same. But every person is also very different. There's no one else in the world exactly like you and no one exactly like me or ever will be. Thanks for watching Love to Read with Miss Ellis. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment. Take care. Bye for now.